Gamer. I'm back. Damn, it's good to be back and to see all y'all. How y'all doing today? So, I decided that today I was going to do a video, a little movie review, if you will. And before I get into everything, spoiler alert, okay? There's going to be some fucking spoilers. And, you know, if you haven't seen this movie, go see it. It's called um, A Quiet Place. If you haven't seen it yet, <coughs> stop this video, go see it, or not. Um, uh, you know what, don't even see this movie, okay? Let me tell you about this movie and then be done with it. Let me save you like 10 bucks, okay? So with all that being said, let's get into the review of dun, 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 A Quiet Place, okay? Horror Horror... When I tell you that the critics tricked 80 some percent of users to liking this movie, oh, believe me, this movie was fucking dumb, okay? I'm sorry, you know, I like monster movies, I like all kinds of movies like this, but this movie was straight up stupid. Like, first off, they maybe said 50 words this entire movie, the rest of the movie was like sign language and like I felt like they relied way too heavily on loud noise jump scares like when they felt like they were getting ready to lose the audience they would fucking throw a loud noise in to like jump make you jump and then you know they throw irrelevant fucking scenes in there to get you to jump because of the movie being so quiet and the quiet tone like I get what they were going for but they did not do it good at all this movie was not good okay so let's just okay so it starts out you know 84 days into something like they don't there's no backstory behind it there's nothing there's no there's nothing explaining what anything is it just starts 84 days and these people were in this uh see my nose itches these people are in this pharmacy store or whatever you know they're barefoot they uh and they're looking for medication for the, I guess, the, the one son because he's really sick. And there's three, they have three kids, okay? And um, so they're in there, you know, walking around looking for stuff. They find the medication, give it to the boy, you know, yada, yada. And then this little kid, the, little, the youngest of the, the three children, finds like this rocket ship, like toy rocket. And, uh, you know, he wants it. He's, he wants to play with it. And then the dad you know, stops him, he's like, you know, whatever, and he reaches over, grabs the toy, and takes the batteries out of it, okay, so see, and this is what annoys me, because, like, we don't know what they're being quiet from, we haven't seen it yet, or any kind of backstory, they basically started you off in the middle of a fucked up plot that you don't know nothing about, you just know they have to be quiet for some reason, okay, so, to get ready to leave the store, little boy's sitting there looking at the rocket. His older sister, which is deaf, mind you, deaf, she can't hear, she gives the little boy the rocket and, you know, tells him that she don't tell dad, basically. So, instead of leaving that go, you know, being happy with just a fucking rocket, the boy, the little, the little stupid ass, goes ahead and grabs the batteries for the rocket to make the rocket make noise uh, okay so they're walking home okay and they're going across this bridge and then all of a sudden they hear the noise of the toy rocket and the little boy sitting there playing with this rocket Okay. This scene is probably the best scene in the movie, but it's it's the saddest scene. Okay, so he's sitting there playing with this rocket, and his dad looks over, and his dad makes this mad dash towards him. And off in the distance in the woods, you see like the trees and like the brush parting, like something's coming after the boy. And then the fucking mom is standing there going oh you know what i'm saying like 
bitch, run. You know what I mean? Go get your kid. Don't stand there and fucking cry. So the dad's making a mad dash for the little boy, okay? He's, he's running his ass off trying to get him. He doesn't get there in time. Whatever this creature thing was comes and fucking kills the little boy. And I mean violently, like grabs the little boy and goes. And um, that's it for that scene, basically. And then they cut to like over a year later. All right. Still no explanation on what the fuck killed the little boy. It was just a quick sequence where the little boy gets fucking taken away by this monster. Don't know what the monster is. Apparently it hunts by sound. And so you're sitting there and you're wondering what the hell is it, you know? No plot whatsoever. There's there's no like there's no backstory behind any of this. So I'm sitting here confused and I told my buddy who I was with, like, I was like, bro, this movie's gonna suck. You know, I tried to after they killed cause see they did something that a lot of movies try to stay away from, and they which is killing a child. So I think, I thought, you know what, they're showing some balls, you know, because a lot of movies stay away from that. You know, a lot of movies do not depict children getting killed, but this movie did. So I was like, okay, this movie is growing some balls. It's doing what other movies won't do. It's touching a subject that other, other movies won't touch, you know? So I said, I'm giving it a chance. Well, that got ruined like 10 minutes after the boy gets killed because the rest of the movie it's basically them talking in sign language to try to keep quiet from these monsters. And like I said, it just felt like when the director knew he was going to be losing the audience, he would fucking throw in a loud noise or a loud jump scare to fucking to, to combat the boredness that was this movie. This movie was fucking boring. You know, it was a lot of them you know, fucking getting prepared. And here's the fucking plot twist, okay? And this is what pissed me and my buddy off who went to go see it. Okay, look, you're in a world now where there's creatures out there hunting by sound. And you get your wife pregnant, bruh. Big plot twist. The mom ends up getting pregnant. So basically now they're getting ready for her to have the baby in this world where these creatures hunt by sound. What the fuck are you thinking? Like, that pissed me off. Like, you just watched your four-year-old son get brutally, brutally murdered by some big-ass monster. And you gonna go ahead and get pregnant? Seriously? Like, what the fuck are you thinking? Like... That pissed me off. Like, that stupid shit like that in movies is what makes me mad. You couldn't have went a different route but her being pregnant. Like, that is dumb. Okay? First off, what baby doesn't fucking cry very loudly? Number two, when you're giving birth, you ain't gonna be quiet. So this whole movie is them basically, basically getting ready for this baby to come okay but living in this world where these i guess there's only three of them like how about we move to a state that they're not there instead of staying where the three monsters are hello hello i mean people in zombie movies the whole world's full of zombies but they're moving to different places they don't stay in one spot and there's only three monsters and you're just gonna stay there you know, instead of just traveling to a different spot, your son was brutally murdered by this monster, and you know there's only three of them in existence, yeah, you're going to stay in the area where these monsters are, right? Smart. Stupid shit like that is what makes me mad, okay? <laughs> so anyway, so they're getting ready. They're, the guy takes his son out to... Um, to go fishing to get the food and shit and he the boy little boy doesn't want to go okay but the, the the older sister wants to but see the older sister thinks that the dad blames her for the son's death because she gave him the the rocket 
and he doesn't, you know, it's nobody's fucking fault, but she thinks it, you know, so she's very rebellious, and let me tell you something, there was a couple times where there was just such a fucking, I've never seen a temper tantrum thrown so quietly in my life, or I've never seen a reunion of a family so quiet in my life like there was in this movie, there was a couple scenes where, like, the deaf girl, she was so pissed off, she threw something, and it was just, like, so quiet, like, I get, like, it, it, a movie like this really shows acting skill of the actors. Like, the actor, it was a well-acted movie for what it was. Like, I'm not taking nothing away from the actors, but it, it's just the whole story was dumb, okay? Now, like, midway through the movie, the dad gives the girl this hearing aid because he's working on trying to get her to hear, and um, it's a real powerful one, and she's out and about, and one of them creatures comes up behind her. But then her hearing aid starts making this loud buzzing sound. Uh, sound. And um, it drives the creature crazy. In every movie I've ever seen where the creature hunts by sound, there's always a loud pitch screech or buzzing noise that drives it crazy and sends it running for the hills. You mean to tell me these people couldn't figure that. I figured it out five minutes into the movie that, hey, maybe they should do something with a high-pitched squeal and it'll make it go away. Anyway, it's not here nor there. So the day comes where the baby's getting ready to arrive. The mom is in the house. She's doing laundry and the laundry bag gets caught on a nail, okay? This nail comes into play here very shortly. So she gives it a good fucking yank, and then it makes the nail stand straight up. Okay? So she's up putting laundry away. The girl was mad. She threw a temper tantrum, and she went to the site where her brother was killed. Okay? To, uh, she cut the noise thing and put the little rocket that the little boy was away. And um, they had, like, a cross set up and everything. So she's sitting there laying there. And... The mom's at the house, the two, uh, the son and the dad are fishing, and uh, they come to this waterfall, and the noise of the waterfall is louder than they're talking, so they can actually talk, so this is one of those few points in the movie where there's dialogue. There's very, there's few and far between fucking dialogue in this movie. This movie has almost zero dialogue. It's all sign language and whisper. It's, it's rough. So, they're talking, you know she the little boy asked dad do you blame her for you know such and such dad he's like no no i love her no you know i don't blame her at all and the boy says well you should tell her that yada yada you know father son moment whatever so they're going back and the mom like i said the mom's in the house she's doing laundry and all of a sudden she gets the pain in her stomach and lo and behold her fucking water breaks so the time has come so she goes back down the steps to hit the red, uh, because they have this signal, you know, they have a signal that, I guess when the baby comes, they have these string of lights all through their property. They flick it one way, it's regular, but they flick it another way, it turns red. Okay. So, she's going down the stairs to flick these fucking lights, and she has this picture, this glass photo, or whatever, of the little boy who was killed. She steps on the fucking nail. And she wants to scream, but she can't because she's home by herself and these things are around. But she drops the fucking photo and it shatters. And then, hello, there comes the monster. Heard the noise going after. So she flicks the, she pulls her foot off the nail and then she goes over and she hits the, the whatchamacallit, the light thing to, you know, I guess let her husband know that the baby's coming. So... The son and the father are walking to the farm, and he sees it, and they start running. And he looks at the little boy and says, the rockets, we got to, you know, do this for your mom. We got to. And, but he's not saying it. He's doing it in sign language, you know. So the little boy runs over, and I guess they have these fireworks. And at this point, the mom's laying in the tub, and she's holding it in. Like, and you see blood start coming out of the, you know what I'm saying, out of the, the area. And I guess, you know, she's getting ready to have the baby. Well, meantime, while she's laying in the tub, having this baby, one of the monsters found a way to come up the steps and is outside of the bathroom she's in. 
and she's sitting there holding her breath, you know, and she's getting ready to scream. And as right as she's getting ready to scream, the little boy lights the fireworks and the fireworks go off and the monster goes out, you know, to look for the fireworks. And that's when she lets out like the biggest scream, you know what I mean? She screams at the top of her lungs. So the dad goes in to look for her, you know, finds her in the, um, finds her in the fucking bath, uh, in the shower holding the baby. So she had, so she, at this point she's had the baby and everything. And so he takes her and the baby down to this, I guess, quiet room that they have set up or whatever. And the thing is they have this fucking baby and the baby starts crying. They put like this oxygen mask on it. I, I don't get it. I guess the muffle, the fucking cries. And they put it in a box and then they put the lid on the box. I'm like, what the fuck are you? What? This is your, con this is what you're going to do to combat and sound. You're going to put your baby in a fucking, it looked like a coffin and put a thing on his face. So towards the end of the movie, the, the boy started running through the cornfield because he's being chased by a monster and he hits a fucking um, a tractor and he knocks himself out and he rolls up under the tractor and the monster, I guess, can't find him. So the sister goes looking for the brother, finds him under the tractor, and they go into this corn, they go on top of this silo, this corn silo. Well, they're sitting there lighting a the fire and everything. And oh, oh, I gotta tell you this part too. This is one of the parts of the movie. Before I get to this part, I gotta go back a ways. When the son and the father were coming home from their fishing, it was still daytime before they saw the lights. And this scene made zero sense. There was no reason for it. It was just one of the scenes that they put in to fucking catch the crowd again because it was getting boring. They were, they were walking by this house that had nothing to do with the plot of the story or anything. And they looked over and then there was nothing. And then all of a sudden, an old man stands up. And then they do that boom, music or whatever. And he's laying there. So he's standing there and they look over and they see an old man standing there and his wife laying on the ground dead bleeding. And the dad's like, sure, whatever. And then the old man just looks down and it starts yelling. And then the fucking creature comes and kills the old man. They just put that scene in the movie, I'm telling you, just so they don't lose the fucking crowd. The audience, the moviegoers. Because that had nothing to do with anything in the story it was just a jump scare that they threw in to fucking to get you. That's all that was. All right, now back to the silo, okay? So they're on top lighting the fires because I guess there's other survivors and they signal each other at night with the fires. Well, they're lighting this fire and nothing else is coming on, okay? So they're sitting there talking. You know, they're arguing. They're having a fucking crazy argument in sign language, of course. They're not yelling or nothing. And it's the quietest argument I've ever heard in my life. And the boy walks around and falls through the silo. Okay, and here's the noise. He falls into the corn, you know, and it's, it's kind of like quicksand. It's sucking him underneath, you know what I'm saying? He's trying to, like, fight and stuff. And then the door of the silo falls off. Okay, nearly fucking misses crushing his skull. Okay. And then the sister jumps in to help him out and everything. So he gets on top of the door. And then she starts sinking into the corn. And he reaches in, grabs her, pulls her up on the door or whatever. Then a fucking monster comes, jumps in the corn silo and tries to get him. You know what I'm saying? You know, slashing through the fucking thing. And then they flip the, the, they lay on their backs on the corn where they can't sink. And they flip the door over so the thing can't get at them. Well, as that's happening, the girl's hearing aid is starting to go crazy again with that loud, high pitched fucking squeal thing. And then it drives the, the monster nuts and it rips through the silo, okay? Now, at this point, you would think that that girl would, you know, okay, so this thing's going off. And this thing is running away. But no, no, it doesn't, no, it doesn't do that. So the dad and the mom are in the silo room. And here is the most dialogue of the movie. They start talking back and forth, talking about what, what are we if we can't keep our kids safe, Okay. So the guy goes out and he sees him on the thing and he goes and tries to get him, okay? So he runs up to the silo, there's creatures around, and he gets them, they're coming back, and then they get attacked. So 
The dad grabs the axe, he takes a swing at the monster, the monster gashes him in the side open, you know, he's bleeding like a stuffed pig all over the place. And these kids jump into the truck, into this pickup truck. So, they're doing that, and then the little boy looks over and sees his dad, you know, getting ready to get killed, and he's like, Dad! You know, starts screaming. And then the monster goes on the truck. Okay, here's another thing that pissed me off. Tell me why that fucking monster was able to slash its way through a silo but couldn't get inside of a fucking truck. I'll wait. That's exactly what happened. <laughs> he could not get in this fucking truck to, to get them kids at all. But he tore through the silo like a knife through warm butter. That's another inconsistency of the film that I'm talking about here. Like, he's able to do one thing, but he's not able to do another. And that's just stupid, okay? So, the little, the little girl's hearing aid starts going crazy again, you know? And it's starting to freak the thing out. What does she do? She's like, eh, she turns it the fuck off. <sighs> She's an idiot. <laughs> so, she turns off the fucking hearing aid, which stops the sound, which then makes the monster more pissed and it starts going after him like really ripping in but still can't get in like this thing must be a fucking tank because for for the for that fucking thing it could not get in for shit okay so it's ripping and tearing and the dad has the axe and the dad looks over and he sees the kids you know getting ready to just be eaten well not really because this thing couldn't get through the truck but he thought that they were getting ready to be eaten so what does he do he looks, he drops the axe, and then he gives the loudest scream of the movie. You know what I'm saying? He fucking just goes for it and just, and then the monster comes and kills him. And then the boy puts the truck in neutral and it slides down the hill to the house where the mom's waiting. So the dad dies to save the kids and, and the mom's sitting there waiting. And then they hug, you know, they have their reunion, quiet as shit. And then one of the monsters comes. They go down in the basement. Baby starts crying. Monster comes. And then all of a sudden the deaf girl has this, looks over and sees what her dad was really trying to do. Because before the dad died, he looked at her and said, I love you. I've always loved you, you know, with all my blah, blah, blah. Basically saying his goodbyes, you know what I'm saying? Because he knew he was going to sacrifice himself to save the kids. So, during all this, the baby starts crying. The girl looks over and sees the sound, you know, and it starts making sense to her. Oh, and then she turns it back on. One of the monsters comes down the steps. She looks over, and then she turns the fucking hearing aid on, and it starts, you know, really, and the thing's going crazy. And then she turns it up on, like, I guess, super high, and it's driving the thing crazy. It's head, and then. The fucking mom shoots it and blows his face up and kills it. And they're like, and then they figure it out. And then, well, before she turns it on high, she takes it off and puts it on a, a CB radio and it makes the real high pitch. And that's when it really drives it crazy and it leaves itself open to get its face blown the fuck off. Okay, and then after that, they look at the camera system. And then two more are coming through the woods to the house. And that's where they ended. End credits. So you mean to tell me, you made me sit through an hour and 35 minute fucking silent film, basically, to turn the bitch off when it starts to get really good? That is horseshit, okay? This movie was so bad, we were tricked as moviegoers by the fucking critics to see this movie. This proves that 90% of your critics don't know what the fuck they're talking about. This movie was bad. I don't know what they thought. Oh, such groundbreaking fucking filming and a new outlook. No, this movie was dumb. This movie was really dumb. You know, and thank God for movie pass. Because if I didn't have movie pass and I went and I fucking bought a ticket for this 
with my own money from my job that I earn, I would be fucking irate. The only reason I'm not as mad is because, like I said, movie pass, you know, but I'm still a little pissed because I pay for movie pass. But, you know, it's hit or miss. And this one was a big miss. It had, now, did it have potential to be? It did. There's a few things they could have done differently. You know, they could have, instead of, a, you know, a year after the boy died, have it right after. And have it like how they cope with it, how everything's going on, you know. And then maybe do a time jump. Don't fucking do a time jump right off the bat and still leave everybody in the dark that we don't know what the fuck is going on. I give this movie legit two out of ten it was terrible it was so bad i have to see it again because my fiance wasn't with us so she wants to see it so i gotta take her to see it one more time damn it really don't want to waste my fucking movie pass again on it but you know whatever the lady wants the lady gets but i'm telling you that it was god awful it was terrible don't waste your money to see it. I basically told you the whole movie in a nutshell. It was bad. It was... I'm so angry that I went to go see it. Like I said, but... It's a hit or miss thing, man. And it's... Like I said, the potential was fucking through the roof. They could have done so well with this, but they fucked it up. And then they tricked everybody into believing it was a good movie, and it really wasn't. You know... Your boy horror gamer knows horror. Your boy horror gamer lives for the horror. This was not a good horror movie at all. It had potential to be a good one, but it wasn't a good one at all. They fucked up. But, you know, the critics, if it's not fucking Disney, or if it's not something stupid like this, they don't like it. So, of course, they're going to like something dumb like this because it's groundbreaking performance. It wasn't really that groundbreaking. I could have went in there and did this the whole fucking time like the one dude did. Like I said, the acting was pretty good, but I wish there would have been more dialogue. Like, it is what it is. It's one of the movies where I have to watch it one more time for her, but I'll never watch it again after that. Maybe it'll be, hey, maybe it'll be better the second time, but the first time around sucks. So, but with all that being said, with the review out of the way, just wanted to come out and say I missed you guys. Thank you for sticking with me. I love y'all. More videos are to come. Um, get myself right. And, you know, we're definitely going to be taking over. So, with all that being said, Horror Horde, I love you guys so much. Thank you for being you. Thank you for sticking with your boy. There's more to come, more reviews. I'm actually trying to right now... Um, get in on a place to do another live uh, haunted hangout um, looking into that doing a little bit of research on the area um, and a couple other surprises you know um, another reaction video will be out I got a couple reaction videos I need to do there's some good stuff uh, trailers and shit coming out that I've seen or I've heard of not seen but I've heard of that I want to do be the first to do it with you like there's this one called New Mutants which is basically like a Marvel... Like, I, I, I know the comic book. So, but I guess they're taking more of a horror approach. I've heard of it. I haven't watched the trailer yet, but I heard that there's a trailer out for this movie, and it's supposed to... They're doing... This is going to be, a, what, Marvel's first horror movie? So, we'll see how it goes. We'll see what they do. But uh, that's coming. Um, a couple other things. I might do a Let's Play of uh, Resident Evil Zero, haven't decided yet. Cause like I said, I don't want my channel to be just all Let's Plays, but it is part of the channel. So that's a possibility of a, there's a big possibility of a Resident Evil Let's Play because Resident Evil's the shit, let's face it. It's, the, the, in my opinion, the best video game franchise out there. Um, but there's that in the works. Um, and a few other little surprises that I'm not really gonna get into. Um, but you'll see as they come along. So there's going to be more uploads now. I finally, I have finally tackled what I needed to tackle personally in my life. So I'm not saying there's going to be daily uploads, but I'm, gonna, I'm saying there's going to be more. 
so with all that being said horror horde i love you guys thank you thank you for watching thank you for taking the time i know this is a longer video um but thank you and until next time as always this is your boy horror gamer saying don't fear the darkness embrace it